Welcome to our estate sale preview this week. This week we are in historic Gatewood. We are pretty close to the corner of 23rd and Classen in a wonderful historic home that's kind of cottage style. I'm going to take you on a tour. In the far corner we have a nice little French style chair. We have a 1920s little gothic style table next to it. A sewing machine. Lots and lots of clothing. Fun little cottage decor. We have a pair of antique nightstands from the 1920s, queen-size bed. We have a reproduction antique turntable and a dressing mirror. And kind of on this wall, we've got a book or two bookshelves full of books. In the next room, we are going to be in the next little bedroom. We have this really cool little kind of mid-century style um, rattan uh, glass shelf. We've also got some fun little rocking chairs. We have a pair of these matching shelves. They're painted different colors, but they're identical other than that. We have a twin size mahogany bed and mattress and box springs. In the next room, we call it the Christmas room. This is where they have tons and tons of Christmas decor. We have a decorated Christmas tree. We're selling the ornaments individually, plus the tree. We have all sorts of really nice, fun, uh, kind of holiday decor, Christmas decor, um, really kind of a fun, neat little setup. Next, we're going to go downstairs and in the living room, we've got this wonderful little 1920s, 1930s armoire. We have an upright piano. This is made by Wurlitzer, and as you know, Wurlitzer is one of the best p uh, console piano makers uh, in America. We've got um, nice little brass and glass shelves or tables. There's several of these. We have lots of uh, Asian decor, fun vintage decor. On this side, we've got a sofa. We have a Victorian era walk rocker, another brass and glass table and uh, a lane table. Over the sofa we have several original paintings and some antique mirrors. And then on these tables over here we have some costume jewelry. We've got lots of brass, lots of fun little kitschy stuff. There are lots of vintage light fixtures. There's some here, some in the basement. Uh, 1920s era, so they're all period to the house. We've got lots of more kind of fun decor. Uh, we've got some blue and white transferware, some pottery, all sorts of fun things. Next in the dining room, we've got this incredible table and eight chairs. This is it's 1920s. It is absolutely phenomenal. It's really beautiful. We've got it covered so it doesn't get scratched. Um, these are the matching big throne chairs that go to it. It came from Houston out of a historic mansion down there. Really wonderful, amazing set. We've got um, all this crystal and silver plate. Uh, over here we have some more silver plate, another uh, brass and glass table, this real kind of fun uh, little hallway sitting bench, and some vintage antique Bibles. And over here we have a Curio cabinet. The curio cabinet has lots of fun little uh, tchotchkes and some African art. Uh, lots of stuff kind of from around the world. Lots of mirrors. We have another big curio cabinet. And we have some um, collector's plates, some Franklin Mint, and Norman Rockwell things in it. There's also lots of little fitting pieces kind of running around. Some red cranberry glass, some depression glass, uh, lots of fun little china. In the breakfast room, we've got some Franciscan ivy china. Um, like I said, lots of little cottage style decor. We've got this cute little drop leaf table with little ladder back chairs. In the kitchen, lots more, you know, kind of fun cookware. We have lots of nice stainless steel pots. We've got all these crystal, all these glasses. We've got this gigantic pot rack with this copper cookware and lots of things. There's also a garage out back where it's too dark, so we're not going to go out. I'm not going to show you that right now, but there are pictures on the website of the garage. And now for the basement, 
You have to watch your head when you go down. It's actually kind of uh, shallow. In the basement, we say where all the fun stuff is. We've got lots of tools, lots of uh, wallpaper from the house. We have all these tools, all these little storage bins for screws and stuff. We have tons and tons and tons of stamps and stamp accessories and albums. Uh, he collected all sorts of stamps. Uh, we've got some more holiday decor. And we've got more stamp stuff. So, and first aid covers, all sorts of stuff like that. We have some ladders. We have some refinishable, paintable furniture. Uh, we have this nice little desk with one of those uh, lamps on it, you know, that has the magnifier. Kind of a little mid-century uh, wood bench. We have this massive easel. And then over here we have more antique light fixtures, globes. So if you have a historic house, if you need some pieces, this would be a great place to pick some up. We have some antique records, or I should say collectible records, not antique. Uh, luggage, corbels, um, you know, painted things, lots of jelly jars, and over here we have an electric blower, kind of over there, and back around the other side, we've got this wicker etage that has some colored glassware in it. And that pretty much wraps up the quick tour. There's lots of kind of fun, interesting things at the cell. So if you get a chance, we'd love to see you here. It's going to be a fun little historic cell. And most likely, this could be the last cell we do this year. We might be one more, but we think we're going to be done with the season after this cell. So if you get a chance, stop on by. We'd love to see you. Bye-bye.